Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. If you're a regular here, you've probably seen the short where I describe what happened with this dam here, but if not, I'll describe it again in just a moment. We had a two inch rain here a few days ago and what I think happened is that all of the roof water, you could see the three scuppers right there, all of the roof water made its way over into this area and was collected by this trench that I have here for this pipe. And it all went into here and this is all just really loose earth because this was just dug oh, maybe three weeks ago. So what it did, I believe it filled it all the way to the top and it burst in one dramatic event because you could see how the grass is all pressed down back there. It had to have been a huge flow going through there, but that's not really a big deal. I'll get in here, I'll plug that up with gravel, shovel some of this dirt that made its way down in here, shovel that into it. It'll take a while to get this stabilized with roots and stuff and I need to put in my overflow drain. That was going to happen anyways, but I just never had the time to do it. But for today, I'm going to get this finished up, get it all connected and all backfilled before I lose all of my dirt here. And hopefully that'll stop the water from funneling down into this area. Hopefully you could see this on camera. Yeah, you should be able to. All this new grass right here, that's all blue grama. I spread a whole bunch of blue grama seed here. This is Kentucky bluegrass, but yeah, this is all blue grama as well. Let's see if we can get up close on this. All of that and all down the side, that's all blue grama. At some point, this is going to have a whole lot of vegetation and it'll all be stable. And then whenever we get a rainfall, it's going to come down through the tube, going to fill this up. And when it gets to the top, it'll go through the overflow tube and I'll have some riprap on the outside here. It's all designed to clean our gray water. And that's basically just from the kitchen and the washer. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's get this pipe connected. Okay. I have my helper turkey. If you don't have one of these, you should probably get one. All right, what I have here, I had to stop this. I ran out of 22.5 elbows. So now that I have one, this is loose right here. The elbow's loose and that pipe is loose. I'm just trying to get a feel for where I gotta go with this stuff. This right here, is going to go over and eventually we're going to have like a pot there that catches the water. It's going to have a chain coming down and go into a pot and this pipe will be under that pot. Hey, quiet. I'm trying to talk here. You too. So I got to come up to about right here and then I'll probably dig a trench that way and get this all loosely fitted. Then I'm just gonna leave this loose and I'm gonna turn that pipe. That's all just sitting there as well. And I'm gonna try to get this connected using the least amount of fittings possible. We're on different levels and stuff. So hopefully I can get this all together without a ton of fittings. I should be able to. So the first thing I gotta do is continue this trench Oh, probably up to right there and then see how that all looks. And then once I get the area where this has to go figured out, I'll do part of the trench that way and then get all this glued together. Do you agree? She agrees.
went to go get some tools and as I was coming back, I noticed the sound coming from the trees back here. I think those are starlings, but I can't be sure. They come every year. There's just thousands of them. When they fly out of the tree, they fly in unison and it kind of swirls around and stuff. Really cool. This turkey is getting pretty annoying though. Okay, so the goal with this trench, I need to get a bit further underground. I'm right near the surface there, and if I would have continued that pipe, it would have broke out of the ground right here and go way the heck up. So I got to keep putting angles in and keep it in the ground. And now, once I get this joint on, I have to keep both this one and this one in the ground. But I don't want it too far in the ground because I don't want to do all that digging. Hopefully I can get this one, you know, maybe six inches, eight inches under the ground. And I don't know on this one. This one's going to have to have an elbow to bring it back into the ground. That's why I stopped with that one because I came out of the ground right there. Yeah, it's not going to be real easy and I'll probably have to get dirt from elsewhere. You could see how this whole area right here is kind of low. All right, I got this loosely fitted in here. I'll get this cut off and start fitting that elbow there. Get out of here. When she sees fresh dirt, she tries to uh, dig a nest in it and then she'll just sit there. I do not want her sitting here. I want her to go and eat or do something. Get, you vulture looking bird, you. All right, now, again, this fitting is loose. I'm gonna connect this fitting to this pipe. Then I can play around with this pipe and see if I need to go down further. It looks like I'm gonna to have to take part of this hump out because we're getting pretty high over here. Okay, I got that fitting in and I'm gonna backfill that starting over. All right, I am test fitting my Y here. I have that fitting in and I'm gonna get this whole thing backfilled in just a second. It'll hold my pipe steady, but it looks like I'm gonna have to put a couple straight sections in. If I go at that angle, that right there is like pointing at the electric box right there. And if I go with a 45, it's actually missing the building. So I'm gonna go that way a bit and then go over with that. Same with this one. I have to go up a little bit and then go with either a 45 or a, actually I'm gonna go with a 22.5. So. That is going to go right about there. So small chunk there and a little bit longer chunk there. But this is the problem, this open trench. So I want to get this back filled right away and stop it from blowing up my dam down there. Okay, I got her all back filled up to just below that Y. Now, I gotta run to town to get a 50 pound bag of oats. We're gonna plant oats along the side of that hill, back here, and possibly on here, but I'm not sure. But I'm definitely gonna plant oats along here, and I wanna do that before I step this in. Oats grows incredibly fast. It only takes a day or two to germinate, so that should stabilize this area for the rest of the year. Next year, I'm going to be growing some shade grasses in the area. Hey, out of here. She just loves to explore bags. 
and it can get real annoying. She'll go back and forth between that bag and that bag and drive me nuts. All right, so the fittings. On this one, I'm gonna clear this off here and go back a little bit so I'm into the ground. Then I need a 45 to go down and then another 45 once I get underground a bit. And then actually another 45 down this way. I have a street fitting right here. I can probably use that on this adapter like that. So this would go like that. Yeah, so I need, I have 145 right here. I need 145. I'll probably pick up more than that, but I need that stuff to continue. So I'm gonna run and get that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have my 48 pound bag of oats. I'm gonna sprinkle some in this stuff right here and then step that down. We got a very upset bird over here because of Miss Maisie here. Oats. Sure, the birds are gonna get a whole bunch of these but don't really matter this entire bag was about ten dollars Wow. Macy got kicked out of her box. That is really unusual. Tough bird. Okay, I gotta hurry up on this. We're supposed to have PM rain. That's why I wanted to get this oats really quick. Get this on all the places that need it before the rain. It's supposed to rain in about three hours, so I really need to get busy. Thank you. 
I've been rushing like crazy to get this done before the rain. It actually started drizzling just a little bit a little while ago. I brought everything back up here and got my 50 or actually 48 pound bag of oats in the house. I don't know what else I can do today. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt in this ditch. I'm gonna leave this ditch alone. I put this pipe in there that's just loose so that doesn't get filled up with dirt if I get some stuff washing in there. I only have a couple more joints but the rain is right there. So like I said I'm just going to put a little more dirt in there. I need that tube long like that so I can flex it around when I get the last two joints on. But other than that it is looking real good. This is only I don't know 20 minutes a half hours worth of work on that one. And this one is just going to come around the corner and get a cap on it. I'm not doing anything with that until next year. So not a whole lot left on this. I just don't want it to wash into there and flood that out again, even though that's not that big of a deal. And I want to get that oats on here. So I'm going to put a little more dirt on there. I'm going to grab a container full of oats and get out here and start spreading that. Hopefully I can spread the whole bag. That's what I really want to do. I started tossing the seed and then it started raining again. It's just drizzling right now, but we're supposed to get a pretty good rain today see how it is down here yeah I better wrap this up this rain is an hour and a half early I should have been able to finish this up today but like I said it's not that big of a deal I'll make those connections tomorrow first thing Ooh, those are big drops get under this tree real quick all right that's gonna wrap this video up if you want to see more of this gray water pond action just make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Ooh, that's cold rain. And if you give the video a like and or share it, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.